Turning to our third example now, we're going to find yet another valid pattern of predicate logic, a valid logical form in predicate logic. Since all dogs are mammals and all mammals are warm-blooded, all dogs are warm-blooded. Now, since indicates that we have reasons, premises coming, or a premise coming, but here we see it's two sentences, the conjunction, adding two sentences together, the conjunction of two sentences, and we get those, since those two are true, then all dogs are warm-blooded. So, again, in reconstructing our argument, looks like all dogs are warm-blooded premises for that are the generalization all dogs are mammals the other pre the other premise is another generalization that is that all mammals are warm-blooded now let's take a look at what is the pattern of this or the logical form of this inference and we look, all dogs are mammals. All A's are B's, A's being dogs, B's being mammals. All mammals, which you know B's are something else, C's. So we get a premise, all B's are C's. Therefore, all the first one, all A's are the third one, C's or all A's are C's. Now let's take a look again at our diagram, our Venn diagram, our map of this logical form, which is going to also demonstrate why it's true. Well, first we know all A's are B's. So if we look at the class of all B's, what we're going to see is all A's, the circle of A, is completely contained within the circle of B's. And now we'll look at that second premise, all B's are C's. Everything that's in that B circle is also in this bigger C circle. So the conclusion is all A's are C's. Well, just looking at our Venn diagram, our map, anything that's within an A has to be in within the circle of all things that are C's. So again, this is a logically strong pattern of argument. It's a logical, the form of the argument is logically strong. It's a good inference in predicate logic. Let's turn to our final example no dogs or cats. Lassie is a dog. Therefore, Lassie is not a cat. Now, the one thing I want to urge you to do as we go through this course of logic, let's learn the patterns. Don't ever resort to what you used to do, and that is look at that and say, gee, does that conclusion follow from those premises? Because a lot of times, we blow it. If we stick to using this method of looking at the pattern and recognizing the valid patterns and the invalid patterns, we're not going to make mistakes. We're not because, and I got to tell you, I even look at these things sometimes and I make mistakes, and I've been doing this for many, many, many years. But let's take a look at what this pattern of argument is. I mean, the first premise is no dogs, no A's are cats, B's. Now, Lassie, I don't know if you remember Lassie. Uh, I think they redid a movie. There was a series on TV when I was a kid. Lassie was a collie, a dog. Uh, went around saving people all the time. But Lassie X is a dog, is an A. And the conclusion from that is... X Lassie is not a B. She is not a cat. 
how to see again that, and convince ourselves that this is really a valid form of argument, a valid logical form, a valid pattern of argument. Let's take a look at the R, a diagram. Well, no A's or C's in our Venn diagram has to be shown in this way, that A's and C's don't overlap, do not intersect. So no A is a C. And furthermore, the second premise tells us that X is in that first class. Well, if X is there, then there's no way in the world that X can be within that B pattern. So it's a valid pattern, a valid form of argument. 